What is up ladies and gents? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're making pancakes. Oh my God, about time. Today I decided to make a banana and vanilla wafer pancake. So we know we're gonna use the mini vanilla wafers. I do measure everything so I know what's going in my food since I am in prep. I'm eight weeks out or a little under. Next is one banana. It's probably half a banana. And then I need my weapon of choice. Let's see. It's either between the buttermilk and chia or the almond poppy seed. I think I'll do the buttermilk and chia. Almond milk. I bought this egg pan, <laughs> this tiny egg pan uh, a while ago. I, I don't even remember when. I mean, I used to make all of my pancakes out of this. My pancakes wouldn't always come out perfectly circular. Before the egg pan, I used a regular skillet or griddle whenever I had one. As my other pancake enthusiasts do, uh, I found out they all use molds, so I ended up investing in a mold just to try it out to see how my pancakes would turn out, and I actually like it. Uh, it makes my pancakes look a little better, make them fluff a little bit higher than normal. All right, so here's my mold. <laughs> Got this mold from Walmart. I believe it was around $3. I don't care how hungry you are that you don't want to make a stack that's not my concern that's not my issue like if you want to make a stack make a stack don't complain about how hungry you are i don't mind waiting for my food to get done i find it very comforting i find it very therapeutic uh, while cooking so this is why i do it i do it for myself i don't do it for anyone else i honestly don't do it for you guys on instagram this is solely for me uh, it makes me feel good it's my way of escape you know, so I enjoy cooking. I only have one, so that means my pancakes sometimes have to take turns. But by the time I get it in a good mode, I take the mode off and start my other pancake. So it doesn't really take me that much longer. But now the trick with cooking thicker pancakes is they take a little bit more time to cook so they're consistent all the way through and not, <laughs> so they're not like yucky or nasty in the middle. Once I get that taste of an uncooked pancake, it's disgusting. The rest of this video is going to be just dedicated to me showing you what I do. That was knowledge. Just here, go. <laughs> For the sake of this video, I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. So you're going to do one cup of mix. I typically spray the pan lightly. Then I put the mold in the pan and I spray the insides of the mold so that the pancake's not sticking whenever I take the mold off. Helpful tip, once you flip it and it like kind of like comes out like that, or like, you know, kind of falls to the side, let it cook a little and once it does, you can easily push it in. Crazy right now, right? And it still makes it a perfect pancake. You saw we started stacking it. However you want to make it, it's totally up to you. Whenever I use bananas, I like putting them, um, that one's a little burnt. Whenever I use bananas, I like to put them in between the layers to make the stack look higher than what it actually is. As you can see the stack, like my finger can fit around it. I'm pretty sure I didn't answer all the questions, but this is a quick tutorial. That's probably long overdue, but yeah, that's basically it for the most part. If you guys have any questions about pancakes, just drop them in the comment section below. And if I didn't answer any questions, that's, what, that's, that's how we get better. Keep sending them. Let me know what you think. Let me know some of you guys' ideas. If you guys have pancake ideas, just throw them my way, send them my way. I would love to try out some new things. I enjoy creating. Don't forget, stay hungry, and I'll see you guys next time. Think of the shape of the lick of the places you only gonna lick when you rock with a fuck.